Hey people, what's going on? Good morning from Naka Bangladesh. Today I'm doing a niche fragrance house that I never covered before. And this is a big thanks to Dr. Jeffrey, my dear friend, dear brother in the community. He purchased this from one of the uh, best uh, online shops in Bangladesh called Fragrance BD. They are official distributor for this house. And they brought, uh, I think they started bringing some zoologist fragrances. So today we'll be looking at his favorite camel and he's interested in the squid i think it's called squid and also b perhaps so this is the first one he bought and uh, let me just uh, show you the presentation then i'll say uh, what i got from it if it's worthy looking at performance and i think victor wong is uh victor wong uh, victor wong is like owner for this house so i was always intrigued by this house i never tried anything i mean i did try once i think that was uh most probably one of those animal stick on like bat you know so that was very very uh, challenging i really like that concept so if you like i'll uh, leave the link below you can buy if you're in bangladesh you can buy from fragrance but even in international market uh, they actually do a different part of the world they source from usa all their fragrances so basically they can send it you can purchase from them directly okay so this is a sleeve first thing that comes with is a sleeve you can also purchase the official uh, sample set which has 21 i think and that's Kind of expensive, 130, 150 dollars, but uh, it's a good way to explore. These are very expensive perfumes for, I think, 90 ml. What size is this? Uh, always forget. These basically are. <laughs> so sorry. Where is the bottle? These are basically, um, 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 yeah, 60 ml. 60 ml. They are around 200 something dollars in Bangladesh. So basically, they give this uh, story at the back. You can read. This is a perfumer. Nice photo. Nice gesture. Very nice honoring the perfumer. And it's mentioned top notes are dried fruits, frankincense, palm date, rose, heart notes are amber, cedar, cinnamon, jasmine, myrrh, orange blossom, that's neroli. Base notes are civet, musk, oud, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. Supposedly, we're expecting a very animalic, sort of like a complex, dark perfume. So second thing you get is this kind of a box, which is very nice niche box. And it comes with uh, sealed stickers, okay? Once you open it, its seal is broken. So it's a zoologist really nice packaging it's truly niche i took out the bottle already uh it's the bottle stays in there it would be nice actually if it was like like this you know that'd be nice you know but it, you can take out the whole thing basically inside the cushioning is good so yeah good protection for the bottle here's a beautiful looking bottle these are really pretty some of the bottles they have really different colored juice one has blue some of them have a bit reddish this is more like orange liquor like a true orange colored juice this is how that front looks very niche style okay the cap the cap is very heavy bottle is very heavy class base very heavy good quality premium quality uh, this one doesn't click onto place it's the grip style but i don't feel very secure picking it up because bottle is very heavy so i'm uh, not a big fan of that so i'm sorry yeah so i actually saw victor wong in many places places he does communicate with people his house is very popular his fragrances are very popular uh, people like reviewers review them with a lot of enthusiasm uh, this first one for me i'll let you know how it feels to me so the person who gave it to me he loves it he said this is 10 out of 10 for him and he told me to be frank honest about my review as usual and i can say whatever i want so i kind of like told him when i got back at that night like you know i said this fragrance smells like spice bomb and at first <laughs> he didn't get it i was joking because I said, well, where have you invested? This fragrance smells just like Spice Bomb, Rehab, all this history is the perfume, or Men in Black Bulgari, this spicy, amber, you know, kind of that same vibe. And this is like way overpriced for what you paid. He got really sad. He didn't get my joke at first. <laughs> and then I started saying, no, I'm just joking, pulling your leg, but I do get opening of spices. So despite the notes out there, uh, I'll tell you what I got. The sprayers are not that good. And there's like sort of like a gap. I don't know if this is the bottle presentation on this one or all of them are like that there's a gap in between okay i uh, should be like together it looks nice but sprayer is okay not the best sprayer okay doesn't shoot out so much juice but feels really nice and it's a little bit at the side if you see the side profile it's kind of slanted here so very nice presentation looks good so when i smell it okay forget about the notes let me tell you what i got from my uh customer knows or consumer point of view or user point of view i get that similar opening that i get from spice bomb or that the fragrance that i mentioned just now the white bottle like always forget you know like getting old bless baraka no <laughs> what did they say the white bottle you know so anyway uh the fragrance i get similar vibes you know from those 
Like, I have to find out the name. I always forget. Um, let me see. Spice Bomb. And similar to that is uh, the white bottle. What is it called? You know, I cannot remember the names for very long. That just sucks. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I'm taking a little bit of your time. Uh, so let it open. So, yeah, I get the sort of like uh, Victor and Roll Spice Bomb and then kind of like that uh, spicy opening and then followed by cinnamon like a lot of the spices sweet spices and i really feel uh i can definitely see a similarity you know it's not the same obviously it has different uh in the dry down but what i really feel Givenchy gentlemen um absolute or something they have this kind of similar sort of spicy uh thing going on yeah this is called this perfume this is what i really feel is similar to rehab initio initio perfumes rehab this white one it has fantastic quality longevity beast mode fresh clean spicy sweet perfume this one has vibes of it i'm not saying they cloned each other but i get that vibe so that vibe stays for about 15 to 20 minutes then starts changing then you start getting that myrrh amber like kind of like a spicy amber and i really never felt there's anything animalic about it. it's very wearable very uh designer like in a way that it's a wearable perfume not uh, something very daring okay i think this is very lovey-dovey perfume despite being that animal you can see that and all that so i feel this perfume uh you might think i would say this is a disappointment no this is not a disappointment this is a very nice perfume but there is a room for disappointment that is the performance i don't know if it's the hot weather or what in my room i also wore it it did not push more than five to six hours and at that price point i actually saw the juice color it looks very promising they have nightingale nightingale and i think they have uh, many others what are the um, they have that bat and they had was rhinoceros <laughs> i forgot their all of the names but uh yeah they have hummingbird so i really feel like i heard their fragrance of beast mode but this particular one is not the beast mode one on me at least i could say it's a beast mode if it went over 10 8 to 10 hours but it dies down on sixth hour on my skin so in winter perhaps a different story okay but longevity could be a thing you can complain about second thing i'll complain about this extra day perform of course uh, you can they could have given you 30 mil like black afghano but they give you 60 mil so it definitely if you're not sharing this with anybody it will last but perhaps you know like 100 ml bottles are much nicer you know we are greedy but at that price point you know it's like it, it could be up for debate these are expensive in the samples they cost i think five dollars six dollars each like two ml samples so not cheap house so the smell definitely is nice you can feel uh, at some point Dolce & Gabbana the one that's amber but it stays spicy most of the time and does have a sweetness I didn't don't really uh, get that much of uh, animalic civet and all those like the skanky no I don't get that there's nothing uh, that much to dislike about it so my dear friend he got dried fruits from it he did get a lot of dried fruits from it i'll tell you one thing i get more dried fruits i'll just be a bit critical uh this one dolce and gabbana the royal knights i get dried fruits dried dates from this one there's a lot more raisinous a lot more ambery compared to this but this is a much better quality perfume okay so if you're wearing it you know like going out uh, winter time and if you're just going to rock this like wear three to four sprays i think that will be really good for the night out it will really be nice if you're wearing this with a leather jacket which has been seasoned for some time you know those real leather jackets you know this will be really really good it's high class it's posh it's spicy it's ambery and it's kind of resinous and uh it's a fragrance i say it's a very uh not very shocking to me you know i really expect it to be shocked like bat you know i want to review bat trust me so <clears throat> this fragrance it's good it's um uh, great but not a masterpiece in my humble opinion uh, i have smelled similar kind of fragrance in other houses but perhaps i'll do in future a full-on review but initial impression this is very good i'll give it a solid 8 out of 10 for what it is but just for the juice level like juice 60 ml a price tag is very high and longevity is not the best this is getting solid 8 out of 10 so try out camel this is a fan favorite this is supposedly their safe one thank you very much doc for your bottle presentation and courtesy uh and uh let me see if i can order in future time like i tried uh ordering through fragrance bd in bangladesh so they can get me a sample set i will review some more okay have a nice day thanks for watching guys and thanks for all your continuous support good night from dhaka bangladesh Bye bye